These days, we all know that time is money. People don't want to waste a moment of their lives travelling when they could be working, or, let's face it, relaxing on holiday. So, with this in mind, why is the London-based company Seymour Powell working on a new form of transport which will go from London to New York in 37 hours, when we can already get there in seven? With me here in the studio is Mark Baker. Mark, why on earth would anyone want to travel so slowly? Well, the company Seymour Powell have come up with the idea that slow is the new fast. It's true that people traditionally want to get to their destination as quickly as possible, but I think everyone would agree that there's nothing pleasant about flying in a small, crowded passenger jet. That's why this company has developed the air cruise concept. It aims to carry people to their destination in comfort and style. Rather like the old ocean liners. You could say that. So what is an air cruise? Is it a type of plane? No, it's not. It It is proposed that the air cruise will be a huge, kite-shaped airship. It will fly at 12,000 feet, but it would be able to fly at just a few hundred feet above the ground if there was something interesting to see. It sounds like a sort of luxurious hot air balloon. Well, the plan is that it will be powered not by hot air, but another type of air, hydrogen. Hydrogen is capable of lifting weights of 1.2 kilos per cubic metre and you can also use hydrogen fuel to provide onboard power and drinking water. With hydrogen as the fuel, you'd be able to reach speeds of around 90 miles per hour. It would be pollution-free, and what's more, it would be completely silent. It reminds me of those airships they had back in the 1930s. Zeppelins. That's right. Weren't they very dangerous? They were, rather, especially with the famous Hindenburg disaster in May 1937, which killed 35 of the 97 people on board. But technology has moved on a good deal since then, and scientists are looking at ways that we can create transport options that are more sustainable and kinder to the environment. So you mentioned that this air cruise was going to be a luxurious form of transport. Why is that? What sort of luxuries can a passenger expect? Well, first of all, it won't be full of people. One air cruise ship will carry just 100 people. There'll also be plenty of staff to attend to your every need. They're estimating that there'll be one crew member for every five people. Thirdly, you won't be pinned in your seat for the entire journey. You'll be able to walk around. There's to be a bar, private apartments and even a glass floor so that you can see the view beneath your feet. Gosh, I don't know if I fancy that. No, me neither. And would these airships depart from airports? No, I think that would be very dangerous. No, the plan is that they would build special landing pads. Compared to airports, these are much smaller, so the airships would be able to land much closer to urban centres. So this air cruise idea, is it just an idea, or is it actually going into production? Well, that's hard to say at this stage, but the company is certainly gaining a lot of attention. One of the major Korean electrical goods companies is showing a lot of interest and providing some funding, so there is some talk that this dream could be realised in as little as five years' time. So in the future, we'll all be gliding slowly to our holiday destinations while drinking beers at the bar, then? Uh, You will if you can afford it. I don't expect that these new airships will be cheap. Well, thank you very much, Mark Baker.